I don't, I don't tend to think about the, the different sound for the different kind of composers so much to do with the flute, but more to do with the whole sound of the orchestra. There are moments in Daphnis where you have to sound most clarinet-like, which is not really French flute school. Um, and there are moments where in the low register, I'm making a sound that's a very sort of unfocused sound, I would say, which again, is not particularly something which necessarily you would think about as being the French flute school, I think, my opinion. I, I play in the orchestra most of the time. That's mainly what I do. And I don't think of myself as a solo flute player. I play solos within the orchestra. I do do recitals, but not huge numbers. And the sound that I always come to for any piece I play is a very orchestral sense. So there are times when I play, which if you were to come and sit next to me, you might think that's not very nice, but it fits with what the oboes are doing. Or there are moments where the, the texture of a piece, if it's about, you know, in, in Mahler's 10th symphony, for instance, it's about death. Well, you're not supposed to sound like you're playing Tulu 13th grand solo. So think about the sound world of the orchestra as a whole. Try and get away, in my opinion, from what the flute should do. One of my teachers, Philippa Davis, said to me when I was at college, she said to me, you have to decide whether you want to be a great flute player or a great musician. And I think that was probably one of the best bits of advice I ever had, because I've never thought of myself as a particularly great flute player, but I aspire to be a great musician. <laughs> I've still got a long way to go, but I always think about the music and what I can make this thing do in terms of the music, rather than what the flute does and how it fits with the music, but very much think of it the other way around.